Hello everybody, my name is Mortius, I am a necktie enthusiast, education specialist, and acapella artist, and today we are here with our patron request, Boy Bands in 5 Minutes by Voice Play. Now if you don't know what I mean by patron request, every single month the lovely folks over at patreon.com slash Mortius are able to vote on what they want me to do from a list of options submitted by other folks on the Patreon. So at high Patreon tiers, you get to put something in, but at any Patreon tier, you get to vote on which of those selections go in. So if you want input into videos like this, definitely make sure you check that out. But in addition to that, I also wanted to give a little extra shout out over to Patreon because I am currently less than $20 a month away from the milestone that will allow me to double my video output, which is really, really exciting to me. So not only will you get all of those amazing benefits, you have the opportunity to go and put... Uh, <laughs> you have the opportunity to go and support my ability to increase the output of videos I put out. I have really, really enjoyed doing this. As of next month, I've been doing this for over a year, which is just crazy to me. So if you want to allow me to do two videos per week instead of one, please consider going and checking out that Patreon, joining that crew, getting awesome benefits like polls, custom songs, Discord benefits, things like that, and also just allowing me to do those double videos. I said that like three times in three different ways and none of them were actually good, but you guys should be used to that by now. Anyways, we are here with Boy Bands in Five Minutes by Voice Play. Now, I will admit, I'm a little nervous about this one because boy bands aren't totally, absolutely my thing. I don't dislike them. I'm just, they're not just really fully my thing. I know you're probably looking at me going, really? You? And all of the that you are was not a boy band kid? And I just, I wasn't, I really wasn't. <laughs> So, I remember when this first came out, I have watched this, but I've only watched it once and I don't remember it. So I think it's still going to be pretty much a reaction. But I remember when I watched it that there were like eight songs and I knew like two of them? And I've been avoiding doing this video for a long time because I'm really worried that people are going to yell at me in the comments for not knowing these songs. Uh oh! <laughs> But hopefully no one yells at me too much and I am still very excited to hop on into the musical aspects of it even if I don't know the source material as well. So hopefully no one yells at me too hard and without further ado let's hop right on into Boy Bands in 5 Minutes Voice Play Acapella Medley. <laughs> You're all I ever wanted. Ooh, hold on. You're all I ever wanted. Just in the first two, se three seconds, there's something too... Just in the first three seconds, there are two kind of cool things I want to bring up. Uh, first of all, I like the audio effect they put on his. It feels very... This is... It says at the bottom, this is in sync, And yeah, it sounds very, like, in sync. that kind of just, like... Now, 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 on that vocal effect. I don't actually know vocal editing enough to put names to it, but yeah. I also like how it just starts with Ellie and then now, 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 it gives a very cool, like, everyone joining in right after feeling, which I feel like boy bands often have. I don't know. Again, for those of you who skip past the intro, I don't know boy band songs. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> You're all I ever wanted. To do now. Oh, go away, ads. Okay, I like this. I'm also having to reframe my brain. I my, I didn't even consider the fact that this was long ago that it'd be Earl and Jaina. Wait, my boy, see, sir. So tell me what to do now, cause uh, I, I want let's you. take it back. 
I know this song. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much fun. Oh, I love this. Hold on. I love the. It's um. Definitely, you can tell that it's older because a lot of Jeff's stuff is a little bit farther back and a little bit quieter. Uh, whereas in modern arrangements, they like to give that bass a little more forefront because that's kind of the acapella meta right now. Um, but you can hear if you're listening in the background, Jeff has a lot of really cool and complex, like, like things happening there that are kind of imitating those instruments, which is fun. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of hot takes in this video because again, like I said in my intro, I'm not huge into boy bands. I don't like the Beatles. Please don't crucify me in the comment section. And I say that's something I wanna Oh, whoa, hold on. When I say that's something Okay. But I do have to say I absolutely adore the aspect going on here where Lane and Jeff are imitating the inst are vis visually imitating the instruments that they are vocally imitating. Jeff's got his like that thing going on, and Lane is. I always make the joke that Lane swallowed the drum kit. Well, clearly one of the pieces came out uh, because look at that. That's so creative. I love that. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand if I have to beg and plead. I do have to say, even though I don't know a lot of these songs or any of these songs except for Jackson 5, uh, these transitions are incredible. And I wish I had more knowledge of how the original songs worked so that I could appreciate these transitions more. And I wanna hold your hand if I have to beg and plead. That transition is so good. Oh my god. And I wanna hold your hand if I have to beg and plead. Da, 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 is a very, obviously, even just me doing that, da, 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 you can hear that that's kind of the progression there. So they do like a da, 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 da progression, except the final note is the next song. Listen to that transition. And I want to hold your hand if I have to beg that's cool. for your sympathy, I don't mind, cause you need Oh my god, look at their costume! Whoa, hey, what was that? Is that jumping into cut time? What is that doing? They, they completely change up, like, the tempo and style of just the way it holds. Don't leave me, girl. Don't you go. Ain't too proud to please, baby, baby. It's like, down, 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 Like, the way it just, like, slows down, the way that Jeff and Lane in the background are giving it kind of, like, in the back. Like, Don't you go. Ain't too proud to please. I can't remember what the yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I can't actually describe what it's doing because I'm not remembering the terminology of it exactly. But yeah, just listen to the way that that tempo changes. I'll go back one more uh, and then we'll play it through. But just listen to that. See the size of his wallet. <laughs> Who is that? Ooh. 
I will say, yep, there it is, Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons. I don't know this song, but I know those outfits. Is it? How bad is it that I am more capable of identifying a boy band by their outfit than one of their songs? <laughs> I think that says a lot about my parent in high schools. Yeah, everyone's going to be like, really? You in high school were like, not into boy bands? And I'm like, no, I was into their outfits. <laughs> World isn't coming to an end, he said. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> World isn't coming to an end, he said. Walk like a man, talk like a man. <laughs> even that even that transition all of these transitions weird that's dog Oh, I love when they can transition on the word. The way that they transition that girl. Woo! So good. Oh, and I know this song. I know this song. <laughs> the second song I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm familiar with some other ones like Candy Girl, but the other song is like, I know, no. I know this next one. Girl, I must warn you. Never trust a big button to smile. But that girl is Boys, it's driving me. What are these costumes? That girl is Boys, it's driving me out of my mind. Yeah. That's why it's hard for me to find that g -g -g girl is oh 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 the right stuff you got the right stuff Where did they get these shoes? This is just so fun. I keep feeling like I need to pause and say something, but I really don't. There's something on my mic. There we go. Turn me on the right stuff. How dare you? How dare you? You pick up that sandwich and eat it. That looked delicious. I love the, the, the choreography in this. Like, the dancing, but also just the... Oh my god, why can my brain not remember the... <laughs> god, I don't remember the word for this. The, just like, not choreography, but just where people are. The... Oh my god, Mason, help me out here. Unless you don't know what I'm talking about, in which case... Ah! In which case, go ask the Discord. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. shouldn't be here this oh what is that funk i'm in a different outfit now sir we both know that i shouldn't be that's dope as heck is wrong and baby it's killing me it's killing you both of us gotta be strong it's the hardest thing Oh, there we go. This is the third one I know. Obviously, I'm gonna know this one. Desire, you are, you are, you are, you are. Whoa, hold on. You are, you are, you are, you are. Ooh, that's fun structure. Oh, I like that a lot. 
I also like how they take out a lot of the background vocals here. Hold on. My fire, the one. Like when Jay Nun goes, the one, it's just him. Nothing else happening in the background. Like they're really allowing it to kind of like, I don't know, but it's very cool. The one desire, you are, you are, you are, you are. Don't want to hear you say It has been a long time since I have talked about this specific technique. And so I want to talk about it here, especially because I know that these viewer choice videos typically get more views. So I definitely really want to um, talk about this technique that I haven't talked about in a few months. And that is letting all of the background instrumentation drop out and go in. And that is what that is probably my favorite musical technique that is not exclusive to acapella, or at least multi-voice music. Most of my favorite vo uh, musical techniques have to do with multi-voice music, whether that's acapella or it's something like a boy band song, even though I just said I found a boy band. But this specific technique, um, Mason, just because I know it's one of the only good examples that don't get uh, copyright striked, will you play the clip from Danny Don't You Know for me? And then I'll explain it. Go. Now it's time to rock the show. Come on, you are the star tonight. Danny, don't you so, what I'm describing there is when the background instrumentation completely drops out and it's just a vocal line for a little bit. Um, so, the vo uh, everything in the background might be like. Doo -doo 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 do 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 like that was just a random example i was just making sounds but if all of the background instrumentation is happening and then it drops out the vocals go and then the background drops back in it's cool every time it happens uh including right here so so they've got it all on just words but then jeff comes in with a dum 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 here you are you are you are you are that's so cool. This is one of my wife's favorite songs, which is the only reason I kind of know it. Yeah, here it is. Obviously, we knew they were coming eventually, but hold on. I'm actually surprised they went best song ever instead of, uh, uh, uh no, you're beautiful, whatever that song's called. <laughs> Maybe it was just because it made something a better transition, and that transition rocks. So what are they doing with their... What are they doing with their hands there? Is that a One Direction joke I don't get? Before anyone in the comments yells at me for being able to mouth along to best song ever and not anything by like the Beatles or Frankie and the Four Seasons, my high school girlfriend was very into One Direction, so I know a lot of the music. Leave me alone. <laughs> This is just so fun. Love you so bad. Now what is this? Oh, BTS. Okay, that explains the everything that it just turned into. Oh man, I wish it was one of the two BTS songs I actually knew, but that's okay. Oh, 
Oh, that was a fun ending. That was cool. I liked that a lot. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a ton to say about it. I just, I don't, I'm not super familiar with the source material. Hi, Ella. Yes, you're being very sweet. Do you want to come say hi to everybody? No, you're just napping? That's okay. Um, so I'm not super familiar with the source material for most of these songs, um, just because it's not really my style, surprisingly. I don't really know why. I just have never really gotten into them that much. But this was still so fun. The transitions, oh my god, the transitions were absolutely legendary. So thank you guys so much for everyone who votes in our monthly Patreon polls. Thank you to all of these lovely patrons here. If you want to help me get to that set two videos per week milestone, please consider checking out the Patreon in the description. And I don't have too much to say other than that. So as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye.